All right, welcome to the newly renovated men's soccer locker room. Behind us here on this wall, we have a list of all of uh, the WVU All-Americas and all the guys that have moved on to the next level to become pros. Uh, featured on the main panel there are guys like Ray Gaddis, who's a starter for the Philadelphia Union, and guys like Devin McTavish, who spent many years representing DC United um, as a major player and a former captain for them. Locker room has been fully renovated. Um, every player has their own locker, which has been uh, custom assembled. Uh, Lockbox for their personal items. They, have, they all have their own individual nameplates, which shows what position they play and where they're from. And they all also have custom West Virginia fold-out chairs. They all have the insignia of the WVU soccer logo imprinted on all of them. Around the room, we also have a, a few quotes that are very, very important to us. The West Virginia soccer is obviously emblazoned uh, front and center of the room, but around the room, just some different uh, words that speak to the program and speak to the group about things that we want to keep uh, at the forefront of our mind. Brand new furniture, just a space for the guys to be able to come out and hang out, watch television, relax before training, team meetings. We also put in uh, two brand new iMacs for the guys to be able to use, do, do some work, printer, um, expanded hard drive, which keeps all of our games uh, loaded on them. Over the last four or five years, every game has digitally uh, been uploaded to, the, to that uh, central hard drive space. The Flying W is our logo, uh, and we keep it prominent in this room. That logo actually lights up from behind in different colors, and in behind that logo, it's just a huddle shot of a group of the guys from a, from a year ago. Uh, one of the sayings that we have from our group, every single detail matters, everything here is a test, everything is earned. So again, just little reinforcements um, visually for them to be able to look at things. Up front on the main board is our uh, tactics board with all of our goals that we look to achieve every single game. And for every time they hit a mark, uh, they get a, a logo that shows that they've hit it. And so that's how uh, the guys will recognize whether or not we're hitting some of our marks on a game-by-game on -game basis. Our team philosophy is also up and becomes and remains a staple of everything that we do, what we're looking for in a player, what we're looking for in terms of our, uh, our tactics on a game-by-game -game basis. And, and everybody has, again, that visual reference and reinforcement of what we're looking at. Uh, a West Virginia player and a West Virginia team to be able to perform and deal on a daily basis. Our tactics board as well, in terms of our visual, again, the ability to come up here and be able to show guys positionally where we need them to move with this magnetic board and able to diagram things for them as well. Um, lots of visual reinforcement for the things that we're doing on the field. Then for the most part comes the stuff that they really enjoy. Um, under this whiteboard sits a 55 inch 3D flat screen television, um, Xbox, Blu-ray, DVD player. The guys, like you said, just come in and, and, and spend some time and um, enjoy each other a little bit more. Also located in this area is our projection unit and we have the ability to drop down a large screen projection so that we can look at film, we can spend extra time um, helping the guys through tactical things, whether it's through our pro zone uh, match analysis or just the guys being able to watch film uh, a little bit bigger um, than just watching it on the television screens. Everything in this room is networked, so one thing you see on one TV, you can see on any of the TVs in this room. We also put in a halo that sits above in the center of the room. The halo allows, allows the guys to see a television, whether it's our film or they're watching TV from any seat in the locker room, or whether they're sitting in their locker room, in their lockers themselves, or on the couch or the chair, they have the ability to see the television from wherever they're sitting. Um, connected to all the TVs, there is a direct TV box in every television, so guys can be watching the Europa League, Champions League game, and MLS game, all on different televisions. Um, they're all wireless as well, so they can hook up their Bluetooth headphones and, and hear what's on the TVs. 
Uh, they can also control the TVs from their iPhones their, um, or their Android telephones. Nice little feature for the guys. Uh, it does cause, I think, sometimes a bit of a, a battle for who's in control of the music, but uh, everything in this room is wireless. So they can come in with their laptops, they can print to the printer wirelessly, uh, they can control the music, the stereo, listen to internet radio. Um, there's two Apple TVs that are hooked up in here so that they can access uh, their movies and things of that nature if they like to and just wirelessly stream everything in the room and share information with each other. We're also able to distribute uh, daily messages to the guys. So from upstairs in my office, we can shoot down what the itinerary for the day is to each of the televisions so that when they walk in, they're able to see exactly what's going on on a daily basis. When we're heading on a trip, they're able to see you know, what time uh, we're, we're, we're departing, what the uh, plans are for the trip, and, and, and essentially keep themselves on, on our schedule and, and, and send them messages if somebody needs to see the academic support people or somebody has uh, a community service project, all that stuff can easily be put up on our, on our televisions and, and shared with them in that fashion. This wall we put in intentionally just to show uh, the guys exactly what it means to step out in the field and how much support they get on a daily basis when they represent our university. Um, this background game was one of the biggest games uh, that has ever been. I picked the last soccer stadium that was our victory over Notre Dame in 2006 when we were ranked two in the country and they were ranked four in the country. In the uh, restroom area, we've uh, added, uh, completely redone the ceilings. We actually put speakers in the ceiling so that the guys can listen to their music while they're taking a shower or getting ready for the game. We also put up a, a, a boot rack where the guys are able to come in, hang their shoes up, keep them clean, and get them dried up for the next day. So located in this area is our polar heart rate monitoring system. Every player on every, uh, every day at training will wear a heart rate system, uh, monitoring pod. And then uh, after uh, training, they'll plug their pods right back in. We'll get the data on them uh, from a physiological perspective and plan our trainings around how their recovery is working. So that's pretty much a tour of the men's soccer locker room. Hope you enjoyed it and see you out in the field.